Tuesdays at 10 p.m. The program debunks a lot of things that we thought we knew. I recently sat down with the host, Adam Conover, so he could set me straight on some things. Take a look. Adam ruins everything. I feel like it's all in the title. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell us? Tell me about your show. Sure. It's a, sort of a, a, it's like an informational comedy series. I dispel common misconceptions. I tell the audience the awful truth about everything they take for granted. And I'm always dragging another person along who doesn't want to learn these things. But unfortunately, I'm there to uh, tell them the truth. So you're not like a curmudgeon, like you're not just trying to destroy the world. No, you're no. trying to inform and educate. Yes, it's a very positive show. Okay, like the, okay. The, 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 the name Ruins is a little bit tongue-in-cheek because okay. the thing is it's momentarily uncomfortable to learn that what you believed isn't true. But at the end of the show, we always have a positive takeaway and I always tell you why learning more actually helps you accomplish what you want to accomplish in the world and gives you more power in the world. Is there anything you've ever ruined that you got a lot of pushback? back on. We got a lot of pushback on a segment we did uh, about alpha males, about the concept of an alpha male uh, in humans. Isn't that redundant? Uh, aren't, they all, aren't they all alpha? <laughs> the original researcher who coined the term alpha males, he was observing wolf packs, and he said, oh, that's an alpha male. Those are dominant. And those, those, those are the betas. That's the rest of the pack, right? He eventually realized w years later that when they he they were did, just he, Virgos? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> this is very similar to astrology. Anything else? that's just gotten you like slap in your face. I mean, we did an episode on pregnancy called Having a Baby, which is a very hot topic. Um, oh, it's and hot. A lot of the pressure that women put on, on themselves and that they put on, that they can tend to put on each other isn't necessary. The idea that women have to have a baby before the age of 35 um, is a total myth. I started at 38. Yeah. So I could have been your proof. Yeah. Actually, women can have a baby safely up through menopause. Um, and the risks, people think as though once you get to 35, the risks skyrocket. Well, they just go up a little bit. I am pregnant right now, so I'm really fascinated. Of, yeah, it's, it's, it's arriving. Um, <laughs> but I, I want to hear, because I'm cool with you ruining pregnancy. It's, a, it's yeah. a real difficult thing. The breastfeeding versus formula feeding debate, which is that's what I was getting at, is so rancorous, yes. right? And the truth is that the invention of baby formula was a revolutionary health advance. The fact is that not everyone is able to breastfeed. Right. And formula solved that problem. The truth is if your baby is getting the right amount of nutrition and you're spending time with the baby, um, you're gonna be fine. But one thing that saves me through all this, because your pregnancy is like a lot of body changes, all this stuff yeah. is, I seek like the one thing I do is massage. Actually. Adam? Don't do it. I'm going to ruin massages. OK, so first of all, one problem with spas is they sell a lot of products that they claim are giving you some kind of like physiological benefit that like detoxify they your do. body. No, I'm afraid they that they don't. don't. No, uh, toxins are toxins are real, but they're actually cleansed by your internal organs, like your liver and your kidneys. Um, products like, for instance, foot pads that oh, suck. Oh, I love those. No, no they don't I work. Don't love no, those. they're <laughs> fake. Uh, they're just color changing fabric. That's like a scam that is meant to look like it's doing something, but they don't really. <sighs> So even though the people at the spa will tell you that the sauna is how you sweat out toxins, it's not true. If you ask a scientist, they'll tell you that your sweat is 99% water plus a couple tr other trace minerals. Toxins have nothing to do with it. Sweat is just for regulating your temperature. Okay, well, these are all the pregame to the ultimate gift anyway. Massage. Ah, yes. And while masseuses will tell you that getting a massage releases toxins from your muscles, that's not true either. But it feels good. Oh yeah, that's the great thing about massages. They can relieve muscle tension, and the fact that it feels good can actually harness the placebo effect, which has a real effect on your body and can actually make you feel better. So I can keep my massage. Oh yeah, you can. Great job, Sarah. And you can catch Adam Ruins Everything Tuesday night at 10 p.m. on True TV. And to see Adam Ruin Nature and Adam's Mind Parasites live tour, it starts in March. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.